So we finally finished up on Ricky's bus. You remember the engine was bad in it, smoking like crazy. It had been overheated. It was terrible, terrible condition. And we bought another used motor to put in it. So we got that uh, used uh, 6V92 from another MCI-9 put into it. And then finished up everything else. Had horrible wheel bearings and all kinds of kingpins and airbags and issues like that. And then we finished up with the electrical stuff. And we just got that all fixed, fixed up last week or two weeks ago. So he was coming to pick up the bus to take it home. Uh, and it was really cold out in the morning. Uh, and he went to go start it and it didn't want to start. And that's when we had this very serious situation happen with this battery. So we were charging this battery and he had just tried to start it and sparks were coming. So I bent over and touched the connection for the charger and it just exploded. It was the loudest boom. It got in my mouth as I tasted it, battery acid, nasty. And then uh, as I was going back to clean up, it, my scalp started burning and so I definitely got some splashes of that. But it was super loud. Damn. Crazy loud. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> yeah, it was loud. Yeah. That's where I saw the sparks coming from, was on that little terminal there. So when that battery blew up, I was so dazed and confused just from what had just happened. It was so loud. My, my hearing was greatly affected and it was louder than a 12 gauge shotgun for sure. Um, and it was like a flashbang. And then I went to turn off the battery charger first thing and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. I mean, you could turn the timer off or you could turn this to off like that. That's all you got to do. But I couldn't do it. I it just, I was dazed and confused <laughs> and uh, I told Ricky to unplug it so Ricky grabbed the power cord and he unplugged it um, and then by then when I, that's when I realized that my scalp was starting to burn and that the acid was in my mouth I could taste it and uh, every breath I was taking I was breathing in the fumes I don't know if it's because of what was in my mouth but then I started hacking and gagging and it was and I ran to the shop to wash my face off and uh, wash my hair it was crazy but yeah this is so easy there's two ways to turn it off both very simple, but just in the heat of the moment with that, I couldn't do it. It's crazy. So right before it blew up, it was sparking really bad on its own from this terminal. And you can see how that bottom is all, like, I don't want to call it rotted away or melted. I don't know what you call it there. <laughs> but the lead is just destroyed down there. And uh, it sparked like a, like a sparkler. And that's why I had him stop turning it over. So he st stopped turning it over. And then I grabbed the battery charger 15 seconds later to remove it. And that's when it exploded. Um, but yeah, that's something was going on with that. And why it didn't explode when it was doing all that sparking. Because it was, it was crazy. Like literally like a 4th of July sparkler. Uh, and it lasted, he was cranking it over. And it, it was like, you know, five seconds of just spark, like a welder. Um, just bizarre that then then it goes to blow up when I touch the charging cable. Got really, really lucky. Okay, it's running. Started right up. <laughs> that ain't happening, man. Alright, we'll talk more about that battery explosion in a minute, but he's he's hopping in the bus. We want to get him on the road so he's not in driving in too much nighttime conditions. He's headed back to Alabama with it finally. So his sister's gonna follow him in, in her car. So we're gonna wish him a safe journey and then let's talk about the battery some more. This is a MCI-8, not the one that happened, but the first thing I did is we tried to start the bus. That bus has always started with good batteries on it. And uh, it, he went in there and turned the key and just went click, 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 click. So I put a meter on the batteries and this one was 12.4 and this one was 12.5. And I thought, well, that's that's really good. That should have that turned over. I did check the cable connection between the two and they were tight because on 24 volt, that's how it's positive, negative, positive, negative. So it's 12 volt, 12 volt, going to 24. Um, and I checked that cable to make sure it was tight, and it was. I didn't know that there was a, another issue going on 
but I'm like, man, these batteries just must not have the cranking amps because the voltage is where it's supposed to be. That was before we even put a charger on it. I said, well, let's just throw a charger on it because it was cold. It was like 30 degrees. So I thought maybe that, that, you know, that could have something to do with it. It was just the cold, but obviously there was something going on with that one battery. So I needed a battery for Ricky to get home since he was here to get his bus and that battery exploded. So uh, I grabbed one of the 8D batteries from the Cena Cruiser here. It takes two 8D batteries. So I had it pulled out of there. But uh, I didn't get to this bus at all this year uh, for the projects. We did get the new transmission for it. So we now have an Allison 740 to swap out that uh, 10 speed that's in it. And uh, that'll be on the, the list of things to do. Uh, hopefully we'll get to it this year for sure because that'll be a big improvement on the bus. Um, yeah, I'll probably take it out for a drive uh, as soon as we get that done. But it'll definitely need to get back to work. I need to get some of those. I need four windows for it. Uh, and then plus that other little teardrop window for the one side. I need to talk to, I think 4104 windows fit. So if anybody's got a couple of the sliding windows they've taken out of their 4104, it'd be sure it'd be nice to have them. Well, it's good. Ricky made it. Uh, he went and got stopped and got fuel when he's heading out of town. And then he did make it all the way back to Alabama with no issues. He said the bus ran and handled great. Um, no issues at all. So that's, that's good to hear. Um, it's been a long time coming for him. Uh, he really, really enjoys that bus. And now he's going to be able to take some time and, and actually en get some enjoyment time out of it by driving it. Yes, yeah, so whatever it did, it was producing some hydrogen gas there. Um, from that charger, the the level, obviously it's above the plates in there. So I don't think the water level was low. We spilled some of it out of there, obviously when we were taking it out too, besides what came out, splattered out when it exploded. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you charge it, you got hydrogen gas, I guess shut the charger off before you disconnect it. But um, I, I would have never thought that happened. I mean, whatever that sparking was beforehand must've helped something create the hydrogen gas too or something. Cause it was, that charger was only on there for 10 seconds. I can't imagine how much, hydrogen gas it would make in just a few seconds. Uh, but that was just a crazy, crazy thing. I'm gonna be a lot more cautious around these lead acid batteries, that's for sure. See him loading up his tools, check the air and all those duels. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride in old Lenny the Silver Sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. With the propped up engine door Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing Thirty years behind that barn Cause it don't run worth a darn Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing He knows in Detroit there's no doubt Upside down and inside out It's that bus grease monkey don't you know Saving buses far and wide In that old blue silver sides It's that bus grease monkey don't you know now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town looking on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lenny the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?